Hi guys, welcome back to Barovi Made. Today we got another easy one. I have this slab. This is the last one out of the bunch that I've got. And as you can see, it's a it's a little bit small to make any sort of table or anything nice out of. So I thought I've got a day until I go back to work. Let's have a nice easy chill day. Get rid of some lumber that's taken up room in my shed. Let's try and make a couple of chopping boards, something quick, nice and easy and simple. So it's a nice chill day back video, grab a drink, and uh, let's get on with it. So the first thing I got to do is somehow cut these up into nice square blocks, making sure to keep them square, parallel, and all that good stuff. So what I did here is I just got my sliding cross, cross sled, and uh, I just started wedging bits of wood in here and there to try to get it as straight as possible. I did a slightly dodgy cut here with the fence, trying to keep it still as possible, and I decided to keep taking little parts off, so then by the time I get down to the final size, it's all the, the cuts are nice and straight and parallel, which actually worked. So I was happy with that. And then after I got two parallel sides, I went back on the cross sleds and quickly shaved off each, each side to make sure that everything was nice, square and parallel. And uh, unfortunately, with all the soft wood and stuff that's around, I wasn't able to get as wide of a chopping board as I wanted to. But it's still a little decent side. I think I'd, ra I'd rather call these more like serving boards than a chopping board, really. Uh, because, you know, a chopping board, you like it nice, thick and chunky and uh, wide. So, yeah. But here I am. I'm just cleaning it up. Uh, there was a few cracks there, so I wanted to get rid of that crack. Uh, flip it over, do it the same. Uh, it was a bit of a shame that I couldn't really do anything better with this slab of wood. But if I didn't make it into these little boards that I made, uh, well, I wouldn't be able to use anything for it. <laughs> so, we've taken it over to the service planer now. Just and these are the sort of chips that you want to see coming out of the back of your surface planer. It means your blades are nice and sharp and it's taking a nice cut on it. But because these boards are so small, we can just shove them in the surface planer and it comes out pretty much perfectly flat every single time. If you're doing longer boards, then you might want to make up a little jig to make sure everything stays nice and flat. But we've got those two up there. Now what we are going to do is go around to the little imperfections, scrape out any of the softwood or any bits of bark that are left there. And uh, we're going to go around and we're going to fill them up with some super glue and uh, some pigment powder. Uh, I, I should have really used resin for this because after sanding it all down, there were a few spots where there was like air gaps in the super glue. So I had to start, start to come back in and keep topping it up and topping it up until there was no air gaps and stuff. But these little chopping boards are just for myself anyway, so I'm not too worried about getting it nice and perfect. But yeah. And then we've got a, a little jig and a little setup here to cut some finger holes and some slots in with a very, very dull router bit. So I, I need to get a new router bit. You can see all the smoke that's coming off of it. And I actually started a little fire, which uh, was a first for me, but there we go. So be careful with your dull router bits. And then what we're going to do, we're going to sand these up. And we actually sanded them all the way up to 320 grit, uh, a nice smooth finish. And let me know your opinions about sanding chopping bars to a very high grit. I think it's better because all the dust will clog all the pores, meaning less bacteria can be soaked in when using the chopping board as a chopping board. Uh, I don't know. I'm not an expert on the subject, though, so let me know down in the comments your opinion on it all. And also, let me, let me know down in the comments if I made a website and sold little bits and bobs like this, whether any of you guys would be actually be interested in purchasing them. Uh, if I made little chopping boards and stuff like this, depending on how I could source the material, how cheaply i'd probably end up selling them for about 30 to 40 pounds uh that, that would be including shipping uh, i don't know i'm just trying to think of some more ways to make some more money because i'd love to be able to do this full time but right now with the size of my workshop the size of my channel everything it's uh it's a little bit hard uh, to be able to push loads of products out on the weekends sell them to people in my local area and uh, a website would really help me make more money but I don't really know too much about shipping costs, so I'm a little reluctant to start selling big tables and then end up having a big loss. So if I sell a table for 100 quid online, but then it costs me 100 pounds to ship out, then I'm making no money on that table and I've just wasted my time, basically. So uh, it's something I'd like to document on the channel at some point in the future, moving on to an online store and selling bigger stuff and bigger products. But I'd love to start off first with little chopping boards, but I don't think anyone would buy these little chopping boards unless they watch the channel if you know what i mean i'm having a bit of a ramble here but uh, i'm just thinking aloud you know it's a, it's a it's a little bit of merch that makes sense for the channel 
So let me know if you guys would be interested in it and that I can go through buying the whole domains and making a website and doing all that stuff and uh, do little one-off things like this. And then when we start moving to bigger projects and selling them online, like my tables and stuff that I make, I can document the process on how I managed to do that, how I achieved it, what the shipping rates are and what you can expect. Uh, so yeah, let me know down in the comments and uh, if enough people are interested, I'll go ahead and I'll do that. The extra little bit of money would really help me and I'd love the experience of selling stuff online. So uh, it's definitely an avenue that I want to go down, but with me being somewhat broke and not having enough money, taking the risk without having any backup plan or whatever is a, is a bit, bit of a big, big one for me because, you know, websites and domains and stuff, they all cost money and then they cost money to maintain and yeah. I don't know. I'm rambling on a bit now. Let's, let's carry on talking about these jumping boards. I put my branding on them uh, because I really like my brand and stuff, and I think it looked really, really nice in these corners here. And as you can see on this board here, I actually left a little bit of that live edge on there. I thought it le left a nice bit of character and stuff. And uh, I've actually been using these chopping boards, not as chopping boards, but just some of my room to have little bits in and stuff. And I think these came out really, really nice. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this wood is. I think it's spruce. I'm not 100% sure. If you know about wood species and stuff down in the comments, let me know. Uh, it seems to be a hardwood, at least feels like a hardwood. And when I say hardwood, I don't mean like how hardwood the term is actually used, but hardwood is in like it feels solid and hard. So yeah, I'm really happy with these boards. I think they'll come in handy. So yeah. Right guys, so that's going to be the end of the video. We have our nice little chopping blocks all done. Uh, I know what you're thinking. Yes, they are a little thin. There's only so much I can do. The rest of the outside is all softwood, and softwood on a chopping board isn't a great idea. But got it all done, and I'm very happy with them. And I love my little logo in the corner. Uh, I don't think customers would like to buy something with my logo in the corner and stuff, but it's. Uh, I look at this, and I don't know. makes me happy. But, yeah. Those are the chopping boards all done. If you're wondering why I'm not wearing my hat, it's because when I was sanding these, I put my hat on top of my monster can so I wouldn't get dust inside of my drink. And then I spilt it and filled my hat up full of monster. So that is in the wash right now. So it's going to have to deal with the egg. But yeah, really happy with how these turned out. I am very, very tempted to go online and order some uh, like black walnut. I've looked, and the smallest, cheapest slab is about 170 quid on there. You know, just, just to make some chopping boards, is it really worth it? I really want to, but I don't know. I don't have the funds for it, really, so I should be more smarter with my money, and I should stick to my cheap wood and stuff like that. So, I don't know. I'd love to be working with these materials in the future, but, you know, money stuff <laughs> anyway i'm on a tangent now that's the end of the video let me know what you think it is down in the comments below and uh, i'll see you in the next one